Hello everyone and welcome to Factorium. I'm Par and it's Ziploc time. In the previous episode I was uh, basically like what we were doing. We built this power plant for the um, kind of powering our uh, <laughs> nuclear fuel production and did like I don't know, I guess some planning. I don't even remember exactly what we did. We got the beacons, right? We have the beacons. That's... I guess was the highlight of the episode. <laughs> Took us a uh, whole five minutes to set this thing up. And uh, in this episode, I'd like to continue fixing our power issues. And uh, we even discussed uh, some like concrete plans in terms of how exactly we'd want to do that. And... Uh, I think the plan was to place a reactor here somewhere. So this looks like an okay space for the reactor actually. Let's ask the robots to build it right there. So we have reactor for this part. We are also... Oh, we are also powering this area by the same reactor. I'm not sure I liked it. I am not convinced I actually like that. So what could we do to improve this? Okay, this part we don't actually need this build. It could be removed. So that's one thing. This build can be gone. Because we have resin and we have plastic produced uh, here. And resin here is actually missing like solid resin production, but uh, we should, like, we can add it relatively easily. Let's think. So, oh no, come on. Why? Why did I forget to disconnect the stuff? Of course, it broke everything. Of course, I mean. What would have what, what else could have happened here? All right, let's take a look. We have we have this line. We don't actually need to have this connection here. We don't want that. Let's remove this power lines as well. Because we actually don't want this uh, connection either. Next, what we'll be doing, I will delete all power poles from here. I feel like now is a good time to do that. Okay, we are deleting all power poles. And now the problem is that we might not have enough reach. Do we have enough reach? Uh, not quite. Okay, we'll need to adjust the thing a little bit. We'll need to do something like this, I guess. Like that. Yeah, it's not exactly uh, nice. It's not the best thing I ever did, but if it works, it works. If it works, it works. Uh, does it actually match? I mean, almost, right? We shifted this thing to the right by one. So let's fix that. Let's add substations. Here are the substations that we are using. I want to use them pretty much everywhere. So let's uh, do it like this. We have two of them there. We will have maybe a substation right here. And I probably want to have something like that built up there. Okay, one, two, and here it's like three. Okay, we can do it like this. Let's let's remove the connections from here for now, and. Uh, We'll add them uh, back later. Right. 
on this uh, side, what exactly do we need? We just need to have one. Substation covering these combinators, and that should be enough. Oh, look at that. We... Uh, oh, it's because we are connected here. How about I disconnect this part completely? And by disconnect, I mean like remove this power pulse. Okay, let's see. Let's see what's happening here, and we'll try to make this part work really, really well. Right, I'm. I'm actually not convinced that I did the right thing by disconnecting that, because um, we could send some power over there to the right from here. We could send some power over there from like half of this build if we need to. Do we need to? We don't because that's the power that is coming for us from there. Okay, okay, that's okay. Let's uh, maybe do the following. Let's delete all power poles here. And I remember we had a very similar you know, situation with the power over there. If I paste it, does it get connected? Okay, we don't need this one. I would say these connections are fine to have. Right, these are definitely fine to have because it's supposed to be only half of the build and we can make sure it's half by cutting this off and I guess cutting this one off and cutting this part and that part and even, okay, this one is not built yet, and this one we want to be present. This one is cut, let's take a look. I want the power lines to look really nicely here. And a couple of these things here. We will want to do something like uh, that, most likely. Right. Right, okay, good. So we have connections there. This part would be disconnected. Let's do that. Disconnected. So now we have two halves of network here. It's taken a bit of time to set, uh, like, to plant a reactor. What do we need? We need a hundred of steam turbines and 52 of the other things of uh, heat exchangers. Let's go and adjust our mall a little bit. So the amount of... Um, what is it? Okay, okay, here's one part of nuclear. Where are it exchanges? Maybe somewhere here. Turbines, heat exchanges. So these are the tur the exchanger two. And we are producing... Okay, we have 50 of them. What's the issue? And turbines also don't seem uh, to be a problem. We have 20 already. Okay, um... Did you say we need like a hundred of them? I, I, I think we want a hundred. Yes, we want a hundred. So let's make sure we have hundred and we want 50 to here. Can you have 50? Okay, good. Good, that's good. Let's get back. Let's get back to this block. So now that we have it kind of set up, what should we do? We want to turn this off temporarily. And will want to add power connection right there. So we have some power connected there. We we'll have power connected here. That's okay. We are missing substations. 
or not. Oh, we are not missing substations, we are missing logistic uh, coverage. It's interesting. Right. I see. That's a problem. It's a tiny problem, but we should be able to fix it. We are missing logistic coverage. I basically broke the whole thing. I broke the whole thing without like even realizing what I actually did. So how do you fix that? I think I think will this be enough? I'm not sure whether this will be enough. Yeah, how how do we fix the problem? We could. I mean, I could add a couple of. I could do the following. I could basically just add power poles here and here, and I will hope that they will not cause uh, power pole blow up. Or post to blow up, even though it, it might happen, we'll still hope that uh, it's not gonna happen. Okay, and this icon, I, I mean, it's it's correct icon, it just, we are trying to get it removed. Okay, let's see. Uh, the substations, we added them. This but we need to remove all power poles that we have in here and we'll need to do oh ex except the top power pole top power pole stays because it's used it's used actually to check whether we have like enough items in there or not so i would actually like to power this thing up and once that's powered up i would like to and afterwards set the like can connect the power to this part of the build. But maybe we should do it now. So if I I mean this part looks okay. I mean this one we could add two of them here and do the same thing. What is going on? Right, but I mean, we knew that it's gonna happen. The main question, are this working? Yes, they are working, they are built. That means that we don't particularly care about that anymore. And this can be gone, this can be gone. And it all should be powered up by this basic plant. So it's, it's a bit tricky to start up. Uh, the process, the plants, but uh, the idea is that once they are running, we shouldn't really need to be able, like, we shouldn't need to do anything else. So once they are up and running, everything should just work. That's the idea. Okay, we are definitely missing something. What is powering this stuff? Some turbines. Oh, this one's. Wait, is this enough to power everything? No, it's not. This is not enough. What, did, what am I thinking? Right, I'd like to cut actually this connections here and this connection here. So I want this two uh, basically halves to be un un unrelated. Right, I want them to have like each has uh, 52 dimensions. And I don't want them to interact with each other. Okay, good. Now, this part is powering up rubber ports. This thing needs to be done like that, I feel. We will we'll add this two, and then we'll have one extra. 
I don't know, maybe I should add it a little bit later, before everything gets blown up here. Okay, we have this connection. One, two. Probably want to place it here. Three. Four. Probably somewhere there. Five. Well, want to be there, I guess, here. Five, six. And we are missing the logic to... We, we need to place this thing right here, so that this whole part works. Okay, good. And maybe I want to connect this to the very end. Just maybe. Let's see what is happening here. This part is turned on. We do not have... Well, we need robots to actually charge up, and once they are charged, we want them to deliver the the fuel. Because without fuel, we might... Well, we still have 19,000 of steam, so I guess it's not that bad. It's not as bad as it could have been. Okay, this part is working. This one, we have the connection. We do not need to have other connections here, we don't have here. Here we... It's kind of looking like a mess, to be honest, but that's okay. We are fine with the stuff looking a little bit... Um, in progress. <laughs> a little bit in progress, yep. Okay, so we have the power for this block, but we haven't connected these two things yet. Right. Let's do that. Let's say we are deleting stuff here, like this, and we will delete things, I want to say, here, right? All of this will be gone. All of the bad power poles will be gone from here. This thing can be removed. This one can be removed. This one can also be removed. Good. We are slowly disconnecting the things from, from like different uh, power plants and we are building local power plants in each square, pretty much. Uh, right, this thing, it needs to get some power. I am assuming that this half can be powered by things on this side. Okay, let's see, one. Oh, it's a little bit too far away. No, it's it's okay. We can have it like this, I think. It's probably still... No, it's not able to reach. It's actually unable to reach. It's fine. We'll have one here. Here, here, here. This part will be... Powered. By a couple of... I mean... I, I'm, I'm pretty much just randomly uh, placing them. It might not look good. It might actually look pretty bad in the end, but... Uh, it... It will be fine. It will be fine. Okay, let's do it like this. We'll have... A couple... Power poles. Well, not power poles. We'll have a couple of uh, substations just powering this thing. And here we'll need to have one more. Just like that. I think that's enough. Now, the only problem is that we do not uh, receive the power. And we can do it by adding this substation. And it will be connected. And everything should work fine. Like that. Okay. Actually, I don't even need to have this one. Have a direct connection. Let's do it. Yeah, like this. Nice. So this side, this half of the belt of, of the power plant will be powering these two blocks. And the other half will be powering these two blocks. Let's uh, proceed with that. How do we actually achieve that? I would say we would like to add some connection from here. From this side, maybe. 
Good one. Are you doing anything there or not? Or maybe we wish to do something like this, right? Like that. That and like that. So we'll have, but that will have some rubber ports connected and given power. Good, and I would actually like to cut these things. I'd like to the power to be um, delivered from the right side. Yeah, we are basically focusing on switching the power for uh, blue chips, right? We are switching and like fixing, you could say, power for the blue chips. Now, the stuff, this rubber port suddenly is getting a lot of uh, power and robots will start doing their thing. Good. What is the next rubber port that we need to power up? This one. And this one. Well, this one will get power, that's fine. The one on the right, not really, unless we get the thing here, here, and here. The question, do we need to place one extra? I, I Let's do, let, let's have one, one here, it's okay. Even if it's a little bit too much, it's still fine, it's Factorio, right? When something is shot on power, you give it, you know, a lot of power and all your problems are gone. Uh, we can. Okay, this is bad. No, I'll do this. How can I give this part some power? This inserter in particular. How can I reach that inserter? I, I cannot. I don't understand how I could reach it. You know what? It's fine. We'll do it like this. If you cannot reach the inserter, you just move the inserter. <laughs> okay, now basically this thing should be fixed. And what else do we need some power? Why is this one not connected directly? It's an interesting question. Um, oh, lots of yellow. We have a huge, like single huge <laughs> logistic network. Nice. And it's working, it's working. Right, we have the power here. We need to fix this part. And that part can be fixed by copying. We will do the following. We will copy the solution that we have right here. We just copy that one. And we'll paste it here. And it probably will not even work. Yep, it will not work. Um, okay, we'll do it differently then. We'll copy only this part. And we'll paste it here. And we'll get some extra power connections that we will actually cut. Right, here. What is the issue that we see on this side? We are lacking this connection. And then this one. Oh. Okay, let's do it like this. Like that. And we're still lacking a connection here. So let's add it there itself. So. Let's see what's happening. We have this connection. I would like to remove it. Uh, this one, I would like to have it removed. This one, I want it gone. And this one, I want it gone. I want them to have like separate lines that don't interfere with each other. Yep. Um, right, let's, let's proceed. So we'll have stuff here probably 
and this should allow already like, it should already enable the flow of power over there and we would like to do something here how can I give power to this pot okay transformer we don't need it I need to power up this flare stack how how are we doing it here okay here we are doing it via that but that is uh, I, I guess somewhere here but we don't have this space so let's let's do it like this okay this is there good we can actually remove this one I think Let's see what's happening here. Do we want this connection to be established and this one to be cut. Okay, nice. Nice. This is looking better and better. This is looking better and better. It's actually not that bad. Like the current state is pretty good, I, th I would say. This thing is supposed to be working. We don't have transformers here. Why uh, do we have this thing cut? I think it's because I deleted some power pole or something. Right here. What are we trying to do? We need to add a couple of... One here, one here. And we'll want have something here, I think. And maybe there. I don't know, it's like a random placement of <laughs> substations. It's not exactly random, but it's uh, pretty close to being random, to be honest. Okay, let's see. We have this half power in two blocks, and the other half power in these two blocks. Good. That is good. What's not good is that this power pulse is still not picked up. Okay, we have some robots picking them up. And we need to make sure that the chains can actually be loaded and loaded. It's a pretty important thing. Okay, so the chain is uh, delivering whatever it wants to deliver wants to deliver liquid resin. Okay, good. Things are working. So, what we did, we built this power plant. You know what? I don't want to delete this one, but I don't want to lose the, the tag. Yeah, so let's just do it like this. And we'll know that we'll need to have it fixed. Okay. So what we did, we have redesigned this part. That means that we don't actually need those connections. So now we have this block, this rail block, powered, completely powered, actually this can be gone, can be removed, completely powered uh, by this uh, nuclear plant running on MOX, like on plutonium MOX cells. Oh, wait, we disabled it. We want the timer to be on. Why would we disable it? I want the timer to be on. And I want it to be on here as well. It's enabled. I want it to be on over there. Right. I want the timers to be enabled everywhere. Maybe, maybe I should have started disabling them, but because now I will forget which ones are enabled, which ones are disabled. This part, uh, it's not working. We actually missed something. We missed uh, giving power to this part. So let's double check. This one is fully powered, except this one. We'll double check it later. This one is fully powered, including inserters. This thing seems to be working just fine. And this one is also working, not that we are really using it yet, but, uh, or at least in high amounts, but the thing is working. 
I'd like to wait for the substation two to be placed. And let's double check what's happening with our red circuits. We are super short on them. Can we design a better build for red circuits? Uh, let, 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 let's see. Let's say we would like to have red circuits. And I would like to build them maybe with tier 1 modules. Let's see. What's the amount that we want to get in one second? Um, 90. Okay, that's maybe too much. What's our current amount? 7.5. Okay, 90 was a little bit too much. Let's say we are going for... Here we have 7.5. Let's say now we want to get 30. Yes, I think 30 is a good number. 7.5 is totally not enough for what we are trying to get. Let's do that. We will be using rod modules 1. As many as we can fit. We will be using the best electronics assembly machine, let's say. We need 70 of this unless we add some beacons. So we can potentially also use this beacon modules and how many beacons can we place so that they affect a single machine. Can we place 12 beacons for that? I think it might be a little bit hard. I don't think we can actually. Um, let's say 10 beacons. 10 beacons should be doable. Or, you know, we could even do 8 beacons and then they will be kind of just on, in the line. So with 8 beacons we'll have 20, we'll need 12.5 machines. That's uh, okay. That's not a lot. Next. This block will need to have some advanced circuit boards. Actually, it will need a lot of aluminium plates. Uh, can we produce those on side and like that we'll need six we'll need six but at least it's not hard to deliver those so it's not hard to unload those from uh, the warehouse so looks like that's the process that we'll have to follow and this copper cables we will be uncalling them from the plates, unfortunately. So this is a tiny problem, suck the belts. But we don't really have copper coils, do we? No, we, we, we are not producing copper coils, so let's not assume we have them. So that's kind of the process. So we could have 12 of this, 6 of this, 6 of this, or maybe 14 of this, 7 plus 7. That will be like directing certain stuff, and yes, we will need to feed them some amount of copper and whatnot. But then that means that we cannot really give them this many beacons, can we? Eight beacons. Maybe we can. We'll have to really think about that, to be honest. We'll have to think about that. Now, the part that is missing is advanced circuit boards, and we could, in theory, just build them in the way similar to how because we will not have space for like direct insertion I think so let's say we'll be belting advanced circuit boards in order to produce them we'll try to go for maximum prod modules one right that's what we are creating it with prod modules one because prod modules two they require black circuits and we don't have black circuits we want red chips, red circuits to be produced like right now, like immediately. We'll be uncoiling that stuff, we'll be using solder coils here, because in order to produce this amount of circuits, we'll, we'll put a pretty high load on the uh, station supply lines with, uh, with stuff, like on the train station. So that's what we are doing for this one. Advanced circuit substrate, I think we'll just uh, get it from the train, like from the existing build that we have. Right, we are not having... Oh, we are having issues with that one. 
Wow, we need to scale it. Okay, got it. Actually, that might be the reason why our second production is slow. We gotta scale this one a lot, a lot. We'll do that. And get this one if we go for eight beacons. This one's. Let's look, we'll need 16. Okay, 12, 16. It's. Look like it's sending up a bit ticket. Like, we'll need. I feel like direct insertion here anyway. The direct insertion, how can I place. How can I add so many beacons? We might need to think about this a bit. Well, no, we can. We can always add 8 beacons if we have less than 2 things direct insert. We can just direct insert on one, from one side and this one from another side. We could even do something like that. Right, and we'll have 8 beacons here as well. And I somehow set up the defaults or not. This one, 8, default. Oh, did I say default? Maybe like that. Let's see this part. We can also actually use beacons here. Yes, we can use beacons. And this way we'll have a really, really good savings of uh, the solder. Of the solder coil. Okay, I, I like it. Like this one. I'm surprised that we can do it with a single Phoenix assembly machine, but okay, I guess it's okay. So that would be the build. Alright. Okay, we'll need to get tin, but we'll just uh, get it like that. We'll need to get silver wire. We will uncoil it. Do we have silver wire coils? Um, let's check. Do we have silver wire? I think we do. Alright, this is our silver wire. The tin part is a bit... Is in a bit sad state. No. Let's see. And the plastic, it will come as plastic. Right, this part is the other one, the other thing that's missing. We'll have the fastest thing with the uh, road modules. Let's take a look. So we need five of these buildings. We'll need just one of this with the wire. Okay. The ones that we need in low quantities with the wire, let's just put them at the bottom. And then we'll build. Oh, okay, maybe we will actually have two of this to make it easier to extract. Well, it's actually just one blue belt. We can use it just like that. This thing, I would also like to move it down. Okay, it's one belt, one belt, one belt. Barely one belt, but still one belt. And this is not a lot of uh, buildings, actually. The power usage, the power requirements here will be pretty high. For this one and for this one. Okay, let's see. For this one. We just need to receive a lot of electronic circuits. Aluminium sheet coils that we do not have yet. And copper plates. For this one, okay. oh, this thing can be built on site. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And two of this in a very, very high quantity, so it will be using 11 outputs. This ones are in pretty low. Well, this one is also in a uh, high quantity. So it's gonna be using 12 outputs in total, so we'll be using basically a full um, warehouses. I feel like this should work and we'll be consuming pretty much all electronic circuits with our. Well, but we have access to them. We have access to them, so it's okay. Let's take a look at this part. 
What's the problem here? Why is this? Uh, why do we have shortage? Yes, we do have shortage. Let's do the following. Let's say we'll upgrade a single thing there. Okay, we gotta click through that. I heard there is like a mod called uh, module inserter or module updater or something. Maybe I should check it out. Maybe I should uh, install it and see like whether it helps or not. Oh, that is taking some time. I click through everything, but. Uh, Shouldn't be that hard. So let's see what is the speed. Minus 30% everywhere and here. Minus 30% everywhere. That means that we properly configured it. And now we might have tiny issues with placing actually things on the belt. So let's just something this. I will say that the very end will have a blue belt. And with that, I believe we should have completely fixed the like which are problems what are problems we had with the substrates it shouldn't really be an issue anymore okay good and look at that we got substations or like almost got them we almost have the substations that's good look we have fixed power here we don't have any transformers here do we not just Look around. Oh, of this transform. Why do we have it? Oh, we need it because we never switched this part. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's not do that yet because this thing is like given power through this line, and uh, it might like we might actually need to deliver more than we might need to deliver more than uh, 300 power over here. So I don't want to split this power block you know, in half. Like to have like two independent halves. And also the placement here is, is bad. It, it's not... Uh, this is bad. This is a bad block. Placement is not consistent with how we are doing it uh, everywhere else. And by everywhere else I mean... <laughs> just here. <laughs> Wait, do we really have only one space for this? It... Seems to be the case. Interesting. Can we place our reactor build right here or not? No, we cannot. Unless we turn it. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, this is this is kind of funny. This is a little bit funny. What is happening here? I'd like to keep the builds maybe placed horizontally, but we'll have to adjust something. We'll have to probably move it a little bit to the left, not this much, but just a little bit. And we'll place it here. And we will use it for powering this area. It also means that we probably want to start looking for this spot. How do we do that? We need to place a rubber port somewhere, I think, here. Right. I'm not sure whether that will be enough. It might actually be enough. We'll see. We'll place it and we'll hope for the best. That's the plan. Uh, this thing. Can we place a reactor here? 
yes, check this out. We can actually uh, fit reactor here really nicely, and then we'll have free space for this power plant, right? Right, let's do this. So we'll be doing that thing, and uh, I would like to maybe disconnect that part. Let's go there. Where is it? It's right here. So I'd like to disconnect this one, this one, this one maybe, and this one. Oh, that was bad. We want to have connection going here. And connection over there, over there, and I feel like we want to be connected there. And send power to the right as well. Like this. So now the new power plant shouldn't really be No, it shouldn't really be connected to anything else. We'll build it, then we'll be able to remove uh, that power plant. We never had to remove Binafran stuff, so I don't know how much like extra things will be there. But we shouldn't need it, because this huge block is uh, 200 megawatts, and this tiny one is 600 megawatts. So space efficiency is kind of obvious here. Uh, actually, Wait, I don't want to do it like this. No, let's cancel it. I don't want to do it like that because I actually would like this power plant to be placed right in the middle here. That's what I want. I want to be placed really, really nicely. How do we achieve that? How can we achieve that? So first of all, how do we power this thing up? We power it by having connection. Then I probably want to turn this part around, like away. Yes, that's probably the way we'll do it. And this thing... Um, let's see. So this block is not needed for anything. We don't really need Naptha anymore, I think. Oh. Okay. We don't need Naphtha anymore, so we could build power plant here. We come to the side. We can have, we can build power plant kind of properly right in the middle of this block. We cannot build it properly here, but we can build it really, really you know, in a strange, unaligned way. Slightly to the side over here. Here we'll have it built semi properly on this city block space. Here we already have it built and connected. So this is working. Do we have any transformers here, same input? Or we don't. Oh, that's a good uh, way to actually check whether everything's uh, correctly set up. So this power plant has transformers, so this is not a good setup. This power plant doesn't have transformers as an input, that means that it's not connected to outside grid. This one doesn't have transformers as an input. This one doesn't have transformers as an input. This one obviously will not have them either. Wait, right, the second minute is it's not transformers. So everything is looking fine so far and we have 31 blocks now, uh, city blocks uh, powered from the main kind of grid. And we are working on reducing that number, right? That's what we are trying to do. This part will be moved away and we'll have power production right here. It will be moved away here, I think. We might need to rearrange um, like charcoal, but we might need actually to come up with uh, better, like faster production of charcoal with more quantities that we'll be using like speed modules and beacons and whatnot. Well, maybe not beacons, but actually, why not? We could have it powered by beacons. We'll see. We'll have to think about that. And the substations are still not uh, researched. What was the next thing that we want, wanted to do? I think we wanted to convert this block 
Right, so we converted blue sockets. Block. What is this? Okay, good. It's okay. Is everything fine with our trains? I, I'm not sure. This one is working, this one. Okay, stuff is happening here, that's fine. Let's just quickly double check the trains. This one was okay, right? This one is driving, driving. Mm, we have like, okay, this is. I, I, I don't like that. Okay, it's unloading some something. Oh, wait, it's one. Maybe let's just assume that everything is working correctly with our trains. Okay, here we have two of them. Maybe, right, maybe that's the way to check. Maybe we should just check for the areas where we have like two trains. Standing one after another. Here, what do we have? This train is just waiting. What do we get there? The train. They're waiting right under uh, bad plastic. Let's take a look. This is our bad plastic build that. Oh! Look at that. So. That's the issue, right? We couldn't get quite enough barrels. That's interesting. That means okay. Let's let's fix this. It's because we have too low uh, provider threshold, and we could have like multiple trains being set at the same time. I believe. So let's go here and say that provider threshold is not one stack. It's like five stacks. Once you when, once you have five stacks, then like, you know collect things from here. But. Uh, unless we have at least five stacks of something, just don't don't even bother. So this should hopefully uh, have improved the situation a little bit. All right, and here we have exactly the same problem. Okay, just just go. So let's remember we shouldn't use stack threshold one. It just doesn't work. Maybe stack threshold two would work better, but one is definitely not a good choice. If you look at this part, we are missing lots of red circuits. That's okay, and maybe maybe we could even leave some space for green circuits, but I kinda like this build. You would probably want to just copy it. Why are we blinking? Oh, we are blinking because of this transformer. So, we have power here, but this thing is just bad. Like transformers, they are causing all these issues. So when you're playing with power overload mod, you basically want to either use a lot of accumulators, which I guess is a way, right? It's a way. You just uh, kind of buffer up the things, but if you don't want to use accumulators for some reason, like don't want to use too much because I am using a couple, you, you see, um, then your only real option is to remove transformers completely. And that's the approach that uh, I'm following, right? I'm basically removing transformers from these blocks so that the power is given directly using substations. Yep, that's what we are doing. Okay, let's take a break here. This was episode 185, where we were reworking power for the blue chips at production city blocks. Thanks everyone for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers!